The cent is a logarithmic unit of measure used for musical intervals. Twelve tone equal temperament divides the octave into twelve semitones of one hundred cents each. Typically, cents are used to measure small intervals, or to compare the sizes of comparable intervals in different tuning systems, and in fact the interval of one cent is too small to be heard between successive notes. Alexander J. Ellis based the measure on the acoustic logarithm's decimal semitone system developed by Gaspard de Prony in the 1830s, at Robert Holford McDowell Bow Sanquet's suggestion. Ellis made extensive measurements of musical instruments from around the world, using cents extensively to report and compare the scales employed, and further described and employed the system in his edition of Hermann von Helmholtz's On the Sensations of Tone. It has become the standard method of representing and comparing musical pitches and intervals with relative accuracy. Use. Like a decibel's relation to intensity, a cent is a ratio between two close frequencies. For the ratio to remain constant over the frequency spectrum, the frequency range encompassed by a cent must be proportional to the two frequencies. An equally tempered semitone spans 100 cents by definition. An octave euro two notes that have a frequency ratio of 2 to 1, spans 12 semitones and therefore 1200 cents. Since a frequency raised by 1 cent is simply multiplied by this constant cent value, and 1200 cents doubles a frequency, the ratio of frequencies 1 cent apart is precisely equal to a 21 slash 1200, the 1200th root of 2 which is approximately 1.0005777895. If one knows the frequencies A and B of two notes, the number of cents measuring the interval from A to B may be calculated by the following formula. Likewise, if one knows a note A and the number N of cents in the interval from A to B, then B may be calculated by To compare different tuning systems, convert the various interval sizes into cents. For example, in just intonation the major third is represented by the frequency ratio 5 to 4. Applying the formula at the top shows this to be about 386 cents. The equivalent interval on the equal tempered piano would be 400 cents. The difference, 14 cents, is about a seventh of a half step, easily audible. Piecewise linear approximation, as x increases from 0 to 1 slash 12. The function 2x increases almost linearly from 1.00000 to 1.05946. The exponential sense scale can therefore be accurately approximated as a piecewise linear function which is numerically correct at semitones. That is, n cents for n from 0 to 100 may be approximated as 1 plus 0.0005946 n instead of 2 n slash 1200. The rounded error is 0 when n is 0 or 100, and is about 0.72 cents high when n is 50, where the correct value of 21 24 equals 1.02930 is approximated by 1 plus 0.0005946 times 50 equals 1.02973. This error is well below anything humanly audible, making this piecewise linear approximation suitable for most practical purposes. Human perception, it is difficult to establish how many cents are perceptible to humans. This accuracy varies greatly from person to person. One author stated that humans can distinguish a difference in pitch of about five to six cents. The threshold of what is perceptible, technically known as the just noticeable difference, also varies as a function of the frequency, the amplitude and the timbre. In one study, Changes in tone quality reduced student musicians' ability to recognize, as out of tune, pitches that deviated from their appropriate values by a plus or minus 12 cents. It has also been established that increased tonal context enables listeners to judge pitch more accurately. Free, online websites for self testing are available. When listening to pitches with vibrato, there is evidence that humans perceive the mean frequency as the center of the pitch. One study of modern performances of Schubert's Ave Maria found that vibrato span typically ranged between A plus or minus 34 cents and A plus or minus 123 cents with a mean of A plus or minus 71 cents and noted higher variation in Verdi's opera arias. 
normal adults are able to recognize pitch differences of as small as 25 cents very reliably. Adults with amusia, however, have trouble recognizing differences of less than 100 cents and sometimes have trouble with these or larger intervals. Sound files, the following audio files play various intervals. In each case the first note played is middle C. The next note is sharper than C by the assigned value in cents. Finally, the two notes are played simultaneously. Note that the JND for pitch difference is 5 to 6 cents. Played separately, the notes may not show an audible difference, but when they are played together, beating may be heard. At any particular instant, the two waveforms reinforce or cancel each other more or less, depending on their instantaneous phase relationship. A piano tuner may verify tuning accuracy by timing the beats when two strings are sounded at once. Play middle C and 1 cent above, beat frequency equals 0.16 Hz. Play middle C and 10.06 cents above, beat frequency equals 1.53 Hz. Play middle C and 25 cents above, beat frequency equals 3.81 Hz. See also Milioctive, Savart. References. Equals footnotes equals. Equals notations equals. Ellis, Alexander J. Alfred J. Hipkins, Tonometrical Observations on Some Existing Non-Harmonic Musical Scales, Proceedings of the Royal Society of London 37, 368 Euro 385, doi, 10.1098-spl. 1884.0041, JSTOR 114325. External links, Sent Conversion. Whole number ratio to cent, rounded to whole number, cent conversion, online utility with several functions.